Go right out. Thanks for the greetings this morning, Richard Rudy, Jeff Long. Melody had to be on the town, so Darlene Brazil said it stood in for her. And I heard her see Summer come in. Is she here? She's not here today. Okay. So Al Westing's going to leave the place. <laughs>
caption contest came in kind of late, so we only had uh, three responders. And I might be hitting the wrong key here. That's okay. <laughs> Let's move on. So, Pam? Well, you all are watching this. There's three, and the winner is.
we have a district training assembly coming up. That's very important for current and incoming board members. A lot of good information about Rotary and how to do your job next year. This year. So that is uh, the 20, 21st of March. But there's a dinner and a start party the night before that, Friday night. Um, I've gone up to Saturday morning and it starts at 8 in uh, Ukiah. So it's a bit of a ride, you get up early and you do that. But it's a lot more fun if you can go the night before and just stay over and then be there the next morning. Where is it? It's in uh, at the Mendocino County, uh, Mendocino College campus in Ukiah. <coughs> And the really number of people going, you can talk to if you want to do that with somebody else. Um, could I have just a quick show of hands? Who, who's planning to do that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Eleven. That's a good turnout. So, guys can cook is coming up in a few months. Uh, you got your tickets this morning. So each of you should have four tickets now. Um, there's 60 members, and that's 228 tickets that are outstanding. The room holds 250. Um, so that's, we sell 250 tickets in the uh, but Keep in mind that the price goes up the closer we get to the event. This month is $50. Next month is sixty-five dollars, and then in April and at the door it's seventy-five dollars. Uh, we are dividing the group up into four sales teams, and there'll be a competition between the teams. Yes, Richard. You just bought a ticket for seventy-five dollars. <laughs>
tongue out my mouth, I'm kissing you goodbye. <laughs> and then there's uh, 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 local, local favorite, um, Dan Hicks and his hot licks. How can I miss you when you won't go away? No, actually, I that's uh, when you fly out to the southern mountains at this time of year. Uh, there's actually more snow in the southern mountains. Yeah, elevations are up around 6,000 feet. We'll be passing uh, right next to a number of uh, ski lifts that that happen in the south, and, and the temperatures are colder and a lot more snow than you get in the middle Atlantic states. So we're going to we're going to face a lot of uh, snowfall. Um, Bill, do you have special tents? Must have special uh, we have, uh, well, first of all, along the trail, every five to eight miles or so, there are shelters. Um, the, the, in case you didn't know, the, the no. Appalachian Trail is supported by volunteers yeah, yeah. the entire way. It's the only uh, public park in the, in the world that is totally supported by volunteers. So they main the, maintain the trail, they make repairs when trees fall across it. They also build and maintain huts along the way. Huts vary quite a bit. Most of them are uh, three sides and a top and open to the front. And they have a platform and you can sleep on them. Um, occasionally they get infested with um, roaches and things like that that will chew through your pack trying to get to your food. So you try and keep that suspended or, or somewhere else. Um, and occasionally they can be filled up with other uh, hikers. Although leaving early, we're less likely to get into that until we get to the middle states where we get a lot of day hikers as well. Um, in honor of the fact that my son and I are both healthy enough to be able to do this, well, we, can, we can walk. Um, when you return, we're going to have uh, a program to tell us all about I would do that. My only question is should I find you now in case you don't come back? Well, <laughs> I will be, I will be uh, self-imposing my mind. I, I plan to uh, donate a dollar a mile uh, to uh, Rotary Foundation. Yes. Yes. that I love. 
And Valentine's Day is a celebration of love. And yes, there's the whole Cupid romance Hallmark holiday and the pressure to go out to dinner and buy the chocolates and the gift and all that. But that's not really what the love that we're talking about. We're just using Valentine's Day as a way to uh, remind us that we are part of a community, a, a club, and a greater community that we love people in and that loves us back. Um, Terea, it's great to see you get emotional for your one year anniversary. That's what we get here. We get to laugh, we get to sing, we get to hear about people that need our help and feel sad that they're in that. And then we have joyfulness because we can help in our own little way. And that's what love is all about. So we're very fortunate. So we're using the next month from the 9th of February to the 9th of March for our Share the Love uh, fundraising drive for the Rotary Foundation. So if you give more than $100 in that period of time to the Rotary Foundation, the club will match you, give you some points up to $200. So $100 to $200 is all matched from the 9th of February to the 9th of March. It includes the small change, big difference contributions you might make when you come in. If you make online, I let that to know because we don't get to see that type of thing because of uh, donation privacy rules. But uh, this is a loving place. I love all of you. Share the love that we have. Help some people that need it abroad and at home uh, by contributing to the Rotary Foundation generously this month and every month if you can. I just want to say we're going to start out with sharing the love for $100 for Rotary Foundation. Thank you. So we've already started on the 9th, right? February 9th, March 9th. Michael? You know, listening to Bill kind of inspired me a little bit. And I think I'd like to uh, match you at uh, 10 cents a mile. <laughs> so, that'd be about $225. Yeah. Yeah. And I would encourage everyone else to do that. Fantastic. I, I would also encourage that since he's walking, that would help in polio. If you want to direct some of that towards polio, it would be really appropriate. Great. Alright. Well, today's program is uh, our State of the Club report.